Hello everyone, uh, it's Flightmat here. Welcome uh, to my channel and today I will be showing you how to set up VATSIM and how to get connected to VATSIM from the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, it's actually very simple, but I got some questions. What's the vPilot? What's the software? Um, some of the people thought that you just need to have a game and you can connect. Yes, you can do something like that. It's called multiplayer, but it's not that simple. So we are in Zurich today. And rule number one, you want to load your plane not on the active runway. You can be somewhere like me at the gate or anywhere else. Okay. So there are a few things that you need to have to use VATSIM. Okay, let's go to the browser. I am now currently on VATSIM.net. All the links, of course, will be in the description down below. So we can just click and have a look. Um, so let's say we are on Batsim. First of all, you will need to have account. So you press join here. You follow the steps and you need to make a Batsim account. Once you do this, you of course have the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, second option, I mean, second software, second step is to have the vPilot. vPilot is the software that connects uh, you, your game, to to the VATSIM. And what you need to do, you go to vpilot.com, press download and install this software. Cool. Okay. There is one more software that it's, it's not necessary to have it, but it's um, uh, you can use it as a help and what it does, it shows you where exactly is the online air, air traffic control, control. And it shows you also all the traffics, all the players that are currently online or flying in Batsim. So it looks like this. Probably you know it. If you are a beginner, uh, I recommend you to download it. And have it. So now we can go back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, it's not that one. There you go. So what you want to do, you want to open vPilot as uh, administrator. It always uh, helps to open it like this because um, it fixes all the problems with the connection. So don't forget that one. Let's uh, connect to VATS. So on your left, you can see Zurich, Zurich Tower, 118.1, and Zurich 80s, 125.725. So we can uh, switch on some power and have a look on the 80s, 125.725. We should now hear the 80s. Departure runway 28 and 16 arrival runway 14 ILS approach. Transition level 70 met report Zurich at Okay, that was the 80s from Zurich. Nice and clear, nice and loud. So on the beginning when I started uh, first time V pilot, I did have some issues. So whenever I switch to, for example, 80s, it was going back automatically to the previous um, frequency. So I was surprised and I thought it's a bug and um, we will need to wait uh, for Microsoft to fix it. But the issue is in this AI control. So artificial, artificial intelligence was um, 
switching my radios. As you can see, your FO will be switching or managing uh, the frequencies for you. So I had this one to on, that's why I couldn't switch the frequency for the 80s. So you want to switch off all these uh, AI controls unless you want to have the checklist assist. But definitely you want to have the radio to off. And let's go to general settings. You need to switch off also two options. One is the sound of the default uh, ATC voice. So it's over here. You want to switch it to zero. And the next one is traffic. Uh, if you don't want to see any traffic apart from the online one, you want to put it to zero as well. If you will put it to 100, you will see all these fake um, airplanes at the gate and that's all basically uh, it's a quick tutorial i hope it's gonna help as i promised um, on the previous video that i will make this video hopefully it's gonna help for the new players on that sim and uh, thank you for all the comments all the likes and new subscribers uh, subscribes if you like thank you so much and uh, enjoy flying as usual, have a good one and see you on that scene.